Hey guys, this is Vashish Mistra, your test coach. Today we will discuss about Deloitte interview for a QA automation engineer role. We'll see how many rounds of interview are there, what is the interview pattern, what are the questions they ask. I have collected all these questions from multiple people. So if you have an interview scheduled for Deloitte, please go through the complete video. You will get to know what kind of questions they are asking. You can prepare for that. I am sure that will help you to crack the interview in a short time. The interview was mainly for 2 to 6 years of experience candidates and skills like functional testing, API testing, Java, Selenium, Agile, SQL, Jira and all. Right? Here I will not explain the answers as I have covered most of the interview questions and answers in my previous videos. So if you will go to my channel. Here you will see I have uploaded multiple videos okay? and if you will go here to the playlist here you can see different playlists like Cypress Web Automation Step by Step Complete Tutorial, Selenium Complete Tutorial, Manual Testing Concepts and Interview Questions. Similarly this is the very important thing S Z Q A Testing Interview Questions and Answers. I have explained all the answers here. okay? Then similarly you have TestNG Concepts, you have all the concepts you will get it here. okay? And if you go to this specific playlist where I have explained all the interview questions and answers, you will see I have explained top 25 Java interview questions, top 10 API testing interview questions, top 10 REST assured API automation interview questions, top 30 Selenium interview questions, top 20 real time test engine interview questions, okay, SQL, Unix, Protractor, Puzzles, okay, manual testing MCQs, Selenium MCQs, you will get all these questions and answers here. So do not worry, I will give the playlist link in the video description, please go through that. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you will not miss any further notification. So let's start. So if you are going to Deloitte for an interview for a QA automation engineer role, there will be three rounds of interviews. First two rounds are pure technical rounds based on Java, Selenium, SQL, API testing, testing concepts and all. Third round is a technical managerial round mostly taken by a senior manager. They used to do all rounds in a single day. Considering current situation, interviews are happening virtually with video call and all. HR will coordinate and inform all details like interview timing, how to join the meeting and all. So don't worry much about how the interview will happen, you will get all the details from the HR. Also if you clear all three technical rounds then you will have a HR discussion regarding salary and joining dates. Okay? So one more thing I will just like to add here from my personal experience, whenever you are giving an interview through video call and answering the queries, try to look at the camera that will give a sense of eye contact with the interviewer and builds lot more confidence. Okay? So now let's see the questions for the first technical round. Let's see the first question. The very first thing is introduction. So maybe they will ask you to introduce yourself. Okay? So this is the very first thing we all face when we give an interview. So my recommendation is to prepare for it. What exactly you want to say here? I am not telling like you need to remember and all, but it should be in your mind. This is how I want to introduce myself. So that will help you to give a clear introduction. Okay. So just prepare for it. How you want to introduce yourself. Okay. Let's see the next question. Tell something about your current project. So however I have explained in my previous videos, right? So always you should explain your current role and responsibility or what is the project you are working on. So that will give a clear idea to the interviewer like what they can expect from you like what exactly you are doing right now. right? So it will give a clear picture to them what you are good at. Let's see the next thing. What are the different types of testing you do? See, so they just want to know what are the different testing you are doing. So you can explain all different types of testing you do or you know. okay? 
which tool you use for bug tracking explain bug life cycle very fundamental question right about the testing concepts so you should know what is bug life cycle and what are the tools you are using for tracking the bugs okay what is priority and severity explain with some examples from your project so very fundamental questions regarding testing concepts you should know what is priority what is severity so whenever you are raising a bug you should assign that particular severity you should assign that priority right or if that is changing you should understand why it is changing right so they will ask you give some examples like what you have done in your previous projects right how you have assigned the severity or who assigned the priority right so you need to have that basic understanding right let's move to the next question what is the difference between xpath and css selectors so slowly they are asking questions on selenium so the very fundamental question right about locators how you locate web elements then what is xpath what is css selector which one is good or what is the basic difference then the next question there are two radio buttons on a web page check if button is already clicked if not click on that so basically they are giving one scenario or they are asking you to write code for a how you can select a radio button and how you can validate if it is already clicked or if it is not clicked you should validate that you should put some assertion on that right the next question is how to find broken links in selenium again you should write some code for this how you will find broken links whatever the links are not working in a particular page next question what is the frame in selenium let's say you have three frames then how you can go to the third frame from the first frame and how to come back to the first frame so this type of question you will definitely get in the interviews right what is the frame how you are handling frame right these are the very very important question in selenium it's not about only deloitte you may get this kind of questions in some other companies also right so let's see the next questions can you write a selenium code for an email functionality to log in and check the inbox and get the text of the email see here you have to write a code like how you are handling the login page or how you are checking in the inbox and how you are also reading that email and you are validating that this email content is proper so you need to write code for that we'll see the next question what is the difference between implicit weight and explicit weight and write syntax for that we have seen this question right asked in many interviews what is the basic difference between implicit weight and explicit weight so practice this this thing right let's move to the next one how to capture screenshots in selenium tell me the code so you need to write the exact code how you are going to capture screenshots in selenium explain the automation framework you use very very important right people will ask about your framework you need to explain what is the framework you are using what are the different components in your framework okay how the flow is moving okay maybe you will get some more questions when you are explaining maybe it will trigger some more questions so prepare well about your framework okay let's see the next question what is a testng.xml file what is the benefit of using testng framework very basic question about testng how to use parameters using testng again very important how to use parameters using testng what is the difference between interface and abstract class again very basic question difference between interface and abstract class you should know it right have you used method overloading and over overriding in your project what is the difference so what is method overloading what is method overriding and how you have implemented same in your project right difference between string builder string buffer and string fundamental questions in java right you should understand what is string what is string buffer what is string builder when we should use string when we should use string buffer when we should use string builder right so let's move to the next round of questions like second technical round questions okay again starts with the introduction then when there is a new application developed how you will think of preparing automation scripts see here they just want to understand what is your approach right whenever there is a new application a new project is getting started and you have to start automation in that then how you will prepare like how you will start writing your automation code so what is the approach you are taking right if you are doing the design first then you are writing the code or 
what exactly or you are doing any POC or how you are choosing the tools and all right. So, that is the intention here. Let us see the next question. What is the approach you follow before you start writing automation scripts? See, these questions are related, right? What is the exact approach you are taking before you start writing your automation scripts? What are the exceptions that you have encountered in Selenium? So, very much real time questions, right? What are the exact exceptions? If you have worked on Selenium, definitely you would have got some exceptions. What are those exceptions, right? How to set up the Selenium grid and how to check whether the server is running or not? Again, real time questions, how you will set up the Selenium grid and if the servers are running fine or not, you need to check that, right? What are the different types of assert present in TestNG? So, very important, without assertions, there is no use of test cases, right? So, what are the different types of assert you use in TestNG? What is TestNG listeners or maybe how you have used TestNG listeners in your project? You will get questions on that. Can you write code for JDBC connections? So, for database connection, you should know how you should connect JDBC and all, right? So, you should able to write the code for JDBC connections. How to read data from Excel file? Write code on that. So, if you are using data driven framework, you should know how you are reading data how or how you are writing data to a Excel file. Write a program to find max or minimum number from a given array. So, very basic Java program, you should able to find max or min number from a array. Let us move to the next question. Write a program to remove multiple spaces from a string. Okay, You need to remove multiple spaces from a string. You need to write code for that. Then see the basic questions. What is Maven? What is pom.xml file and why it is used? So, Nowadays, this kind of questions are very frequently asked, right? What is Maven? How you are using pom. or why you are using pom.xml file? Okay, let's see the next question. How to schedule a job in Jenkins? See the questions related to CI/CD, right? How to schedule a job? Okay, or why you need to schedule it? Okay, what are the different Git commands you have used? Very important. You will definitely get some questions around Git. Okay, so what are the different git commands you have used? Have you worked on database testing? How many types of joins are there? What is the use of joins in SQL? So, questions from SQL, right? SQL joins. So, what is the use of joins and how you can perform the join? Maybe they will give you some uh, tables you need to join and you need to write a query on that. Okay, let us see the next question. What is primary key and foreign key? Very basic questions from SQL what is the difference between primary key and foreign key or you can explain what is primary key, what is foreign key, right? What is normalization? Again, very basic questions in SQL. So, normalization represents the way of organizing structured data in the database efficiently. It includes the creation of tables, establishing relationship between them and defining rules for those relationships. So, understand those concepts, what is normalization in SQL and all, right? So, very important, right? Let us see the next questions. So, this will be the technical manager round questions. Let us see. Again, it starts with the introduction, okay? Let us see the next question. Why are you looking for a change? Very important question. In every manager round questions, you will get this question. Why are you looking for a change? Okay. So, different people will have different reason for a job change. So, try to be genuine here. Think about it, try to convince yourself first why are you looking for a change and then you will find a better answer to impress the interviewer. So, if you cannot convince yourself, then definitely the interviewer will not be convinced. So, first try to justify yourself. So, ask yourself like this is what I am going to tell, is that sounding proper or is that reason looks good, then you go ahead and tell that. Okay. So, try to be genuine, I will say. Okay. Let us see the next question. How the test cases will vary for functional and non-functional testing? Okay. So, here you will see it is a technical manager round, right? So, the basic questions you will see and maybe the fundamental questions. How the test cases will vary for functional and non-functional testing? How you prioritize your task? Which one to pick first and which one to next? So, it is like how you are managing your work, how you are good, good as a team, right? 
so let's see what is page object model right the fundamental things what is page object model why we use assert in selenium assertions are very important because without assertions there is no point of writing automation test cases you will not able to find defects otherwise right so why we use assert in selenium try to find out the proper answer what to do if defect is not reproducible so very much real time question right we see many times we create a defect but it is not reproducible in maybe in the production or maybe in the dev environment so what to do in that right so let's see the next question just before two days of release if we get one critical defect what you will do so what is your risk analysis here okay so how you are analyzing the defect right and how you are taking the decision so that they want to understand because it is a technical manager loan maybe taken by a senior manager so they just want to understand how you are doing the risk analysis okay how you are taking the decision okay let's see the next question what are the different methods used in web services so questions around web services what are the different methods you are using difference between guest get post put and delete method what is a constructor so again questions from java right what is a constructor can we call subclass constructor from superclass constructor fundamental questions whether you understand the fundamental or not what are the access modifiers in java and can you explain all right again fundamental questions can we declare an abstract method as private see very much fundamental so if you don't know try to figure it out what is the answer you will get this kind of questions i have explained all these questions in my videos you can also go to our previous videos and you can find the answer also otherwise if you know it is well and good if you don't know then find it okay which sdlc model you are following questions from sdlc model questions from agile right nowadays most of us are using agile so maybe you will get some questions on agile right if in a sprint two user stories have some conflict what will you do see again the questions from a sprint how you are managing your work right if there are some conflicts what is your take on that or, or how you will deal with that right what is the difference between sprint review and retrospective so what is the basic difference between sprint review and retrospective meeting okay you need to answer that because if you are working real time all these things you should know what is the difference between sprint review and retrospective okay so that's all about your technical manager round so we saw two technical rounds of questions and one technical manager round questions okay now let's see the hr round questions so basically it will be a normal discussion and salary discussion maybe you will get a telephonic call related to your uh, salary discussion and your joining related questions okay so that's all about your delete interview questions i hope these questions will give some idea what kind of questions are asked in deloitte you may not get exact these questions but you can expect similar pattern questions so understand the concept make sure your fundamentals are clear if you are interested to learn more this concept you can always refer to my tutorial videos like however i have told you previously here i have different playlist like cypress web automation selenium web automation manual testing then we have uh, interview questions then we have test ng here if you will see some more we have core java concepts we have protractor tutorial we have api testing tutorial so we have all these tutorials so go to my channel and go to the playlist and understand all these things also you can refer to this specific playlist if you are searching for job right is that qa testing interview questions here you will get lot of interview questions like java rest assured api automation api testing manual testing sql unix puzzles okay so so many questions and answers are here you can refer to all these questions even you can refer to some more some different companies like hcl cognizant and all okay all the best for your interview please comment and let me know if it is helpful for you also let me know out of these questions how many you got in your interview and what are the new questions you were asked thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it 
प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल